Alright. When we fix and start making some icebox fruit cake, we cooking for Christmas. It's Christmas Eve. Is this Christmas Eve? Yeah, December 24th. We're going to make our little bit of uh, Christmas goodies. We're going to start out with an icebox fruit cake. There's a little look of that <clears throat> icebox fruit cake that we got made. Baby doll can't do it because she got the broke hand, but she's sitting down there reading the, reading the menu telling me how. So uh, we're going to collaborate on this deal. She got My the broke hand. My daughter said I was good at marking out orders. orders. <laughs> so we, uh, we're going to get it going here in just a minute. We'll let you see what we got going. We got, I've done, I spoke to have a cup a chopped pecans. I took me about a cup and three quarters. I'm thinking to toast them. That's what we do with them. In the our... microwave oven. We toast them. We like them toasted a little bit. So I'm going to put them up here in the microwave oven and kick them on until they get toasted. Then you've got you just every few seconds you have to. Yeah, in a few minutes we have to stir them up. No, not minutes. Huh? <laughs> not minutes. Not minutes. Yeah. Every few seconds. We got some graham cracker crumbs, some raisins, some jet puff mini marshmallows. There's my graham cracker crumbs. My pecans. And condensed sweet milk. It's supposed to be a no-bake fruit cake, but we bake them. We break them. I've got some. We don't bake it. Uh, yeah, we baked the pecans, the only thing we could. I've got some cherries here somewhere. I've got three bottles of cherries somewhere. Right here they are. Got some Masherero mas chino cherries. How do you say that? Don't ask me. Cherries. Cherries. <laughs> oh! Marshalino cherries. We're going to chop them up too. Make them go a little bit. Let me stir these in pecans. Just turn them a little bit and spread them back out. Kick them back on. You'll smell them when they start getting right. They're easy to burn. Yeah, but you'll smell them when they start getting oh, yeah. right. We, we Christmas cooking. Tune in after Christmas and we'll tell you our, we have our Dirty Santa. Dirty Santa, we'll tell you about Dirty Santa after Christmas. But the only way to tell about these young nuts when they get right, taste test. When they get to where you like them, they ain't quite done. They've still got just a little green taste to them. It don't take long, though. We have to stir them pretty regular. Set that microwave on three minutes. It'll take every bit of three minutes to do it, I believe. Well, Maybe a little more. We'll taste test it in a minute. Again. She's down on the floor wrapping presents. As such as I can. <laughs> She's down in the floor wrapping presents. She's wrapping dirty Santa gifts right now. It's going to be a good one. You can go ahead and tell them you just don't post this like Christmas. <laughs> tell them don't post it. No, I'm telling you not to. They're near about done. They're hot. They'll cook a little bit on the oven. I'm going to cook them about 15 more minutes. Second. Then we'll let them cook on their own. I'm getting 
close. I'll cook them in another 15 seconds, then we'll let them cook. Huh? I said, yeah, I smell them. We'll just let them set and cook on their own. Try one in a minute. They close. They close. Boy, they'd be good with a little oil and salt on them. A little what? A little oil and salt. But I'm going to open up one of these packages of uh, graham cracker crumbs. Dump it in here. Put a can of this condensed sweet milk in it. It says put it in a 9 by 13 pan. A 9 by 13 pan? Both boxes or one box? If we're done, we put two boxes. I was going to make some of them orange balls that Laura made. Yeah. But I haven't been out of the way for Just stir that condensed sweet milk around in there. It's sort of a dry mixture. It'll get wetter as it goes along. You see a box of raisins, baby? It says a cup, but we always use the box, I guess. Don't have to. Let's see what a cup. Okay. You put both cans in. No, I ain't putting no cans in yet. Gonna drop some raisins in there. I'm gonna break these raisins apart. They kind of stick together a little bit. I do too. I like to break them apart just a little bit. Where they'll stir in better. Remind me of joke about an old redneck oh, old redneck was hit out and they couldn't find him they got to hunting for him finally his mama called and said Jolin answer me where you at he said I'm under the front porch with a dog mama what are you doing on the front porch with a dog he says I'm eating raisins Raisins? Where are you getting raisins? He said, off the dog. Them, them raisins sort of look like a tick. <laughs> he was getting his raisins off the dog. Maybe I believe it's going to take a few more raisins than a cup. Well, I ain't got a whole cup in here yet. How much does it have in it? What? 
How much? How many pounds? Or is it about eight ounces or twelve? Twelve ounces of I put all of it. Twelve ounces of raisins. But you hadn't doubled it, had you? No. I got a cup. If they had packed down, it'd be about a cup and a half out of a box. You ready to double it? I'm just gonna put a few more in here. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna double it. Yeah. I'm reckon I can double it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought about putting coconut in one of them. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> thought about putting coconut in one of them. At least you thought about it. Huh? <laughs> Do a little taste test. Get me out a clean spoon. Give me some. You want a taste test? Yeah, just a little. Let me see if the, all you got in it is it's equal brand in the graham cracker and raisins. Thing. That's good. Yeah. Taste that some time. They're good. Let me get this chopper up here. We got this here. Pampered chef from a daughter-in-law. Chopper. She's a pampered chef. She's a pampered chef, world champion pampered chef dealer. World champion. Fine. Fine shop. We heard it a while ago and it wasn't of <laughs> hunting. 
tell you what, I thought you was going to need a little bit more condensed milk in it. What you think? You, you ain't putting no more. You just put one, sir, one thing in it? Yeah, just one can. Okay, put this one in it. Or the other one and just don't put every, put the whole thing of everything on the second go around. Just do it as... We need it. We need it, what I'm saying. is that Don't dump your whole You need this place. cherry juice. It said reserve it, but a lot of times I have to put it back in it. You know, it helps mix it up, too. Chopping cherries up now. We got a, a bottle of mess. Massachino something cherries. Yeah. That all. Is that all the cherries? Huh? No, I got three bottles of cherries. Think I need another bottle of cherries? I don't know. Does it look like it? It don't look red enough. Cherries makes it good. <coughs> Come on, add just a little cherry juice to it. We doing this sort of by recipe, but we sort of flying by the seat of our pants, too. Baby doll, I wash that spoon now. We got pecans, we got, we ain't got no marshmallow in it. How many marshmallows we supposed to put in it? Um, about a cup and a half. About a half bag then. It says here to, to reserve the cherry juice by the tablespoonfuls until the mixture yeah. comes together. So you'll just keep, keep adding cherry juice. His food plot. It sounded like it was out here. I thought it was right there. I mean, I don't know. I don't know it is. All right, that's that's wetter. That seems to be a little bit better. All right, what are we gonna put it in? I thought about putting it in that nine by thirteen pan. Pan. And then when it comes, when you get it out of the refrigerator, cut it in squares and put it in a closed Tupperware. Okay. 
Okay. That's what it looks like now. Enough. I'm going to put a little bit more of this in it. Mm. We'll get another can for the other, other box. Mm. On the outside. Well, I didn't get on the outside. Okay. I just did it on the inside. Every time I see that, I think of Arliss because he was, he was allergic to regular milk and yeah. they raised him on that. I thought, certainly they reduced it a little bit, you know. Water. water or something. That's helping it, isn't it? Yeah. Making it more moist. Let me get me a wooden spoon here. Yeah. What? Yeah. After you get that done, I want you to bring me those other presents to wrap. Okay. All right, we about got this thing going here. Nine by thirteen pan. Yes, it's fair. Get this. Oh, we don't have one. Okay, that's true. We don't have one up here. Put. I was gonna say put some under. Wax paper. What? Paper? It can eat into that tin foil. And it won't eat into the paper? No. I'll tell you what. What? I've ate tin foil stuff all my life. I don't do it in dressing. I did it one time in dressing and I had to clean off the top of it. What? I had to clean off the top of it. You had to clean off the top of it. Just scale the top of it off, rake it off because it was, it was, um, I don't want that bowl now. Leave, me just, leave me a little bit in it. Um, because it had, it had, you could tell where it eating the holes in the tin foil. I, it was in dressings where I noticed, it, I, the only place I noticed it. That's gonna be a clean shot, ain't it? Hmm? That's the fun of making it. For one pan. Do what? I got enough for one pan. That's enough to make right now, ain't it? Yeah. We don't need no more. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Now we got everything in it, you sure? Mm -hmm. Except coconut. Except coconut? Yeah. <laughs> you don't make them with coconut, do you? Not messing, do it separate. Now you put this in the refrigerator and let it cool. About six hours. And you can cut it up after that. All right, let me get me another piece of parchment paper. Just enough to cover the top here. And that's the first dessert you've done. And we got 
icebox fruitcake made. Put it in the icebox where it's chill. Fill it up where it don't get no icebox flavor in it. We'll show you some of it when we cut it up and eat it a little bit later on. There's a little look of that <clears throat> icebox fruitcake that we got made. Don't that thing look good? We done been eating off of it. It sure is good, I'll tell you that. It's good. I'm glad I made this journey with you. If you like my papa's channel, Roadmaps and Chaos, make sure to like and, and smash that subscribe button. We pray we'll see you in the rapture.